this search continues, many are left wondering about the circumstances leading up to his disappearance. As Nick Barris tells us, there are questions about liability and the culture of drinking downtown. It's about one o'clock here in downtown Nashville, relatively calm, but on any given night here along 2nd and Broad, it can get crazy with people who come here to party, to enjoy the music and to drink. Downtown Nashville has in certainly become uh, analogous to the French Quarter in the last couple of years. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says it's all too common these days to see revelers who have clearly overindulged. In most cases, they'll wake up the next morning with a hangover. Now, in Riley Strain's case, some security video appears to show him wandering about disoriented. But in newly released police body cam video, Strain has a lucid response to an officer. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. The 22-year-old from the University of Missouri came to Nashville on spring break with fraternity brothers. He disappeared a week ago Friday after being thrown out of Luke's 32 Bridge Bar. The Alcoholic Beverage Commission has since opened an investigation into the circumstances. In Tennessee, bars can face potential liability for serving someone under 21. Or if they serve someone who they knew to be you know, intoxicated at the time they served him, and then that was the proximate cause of someone's injuries or damages on down the road. Could Luke's be liable for Strain's disappearance? The bar says records show he was served one alcoholic drink and two waters, and then security escorted Strain out for violating unspecified conduct standards. If that is true and accurate, uh, you know, it is, a, it is a high hurdle, and it may not be any liability there for them. We don't know if that was the last bar that he had been in, you know, and where had he been before? Has there other bars that were over-serving him? Did he have uh, liquor on his person? And of course, Strain remains missing, so it's still unknown what happened to him and why. Regardless, Leonardo says that Strain's case is sure to get the attention of state lawmakers to consider perhaps passing more clear guidelines on how and when bars can serve patrons alcohol. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Nick, thank you.